the Ukrainian army pressing on with an advance on the capitals of two self-proclaimed republics in the east of the country, towns and villages in the region, scenes of shelling and battles. RT's Maria Finoshina has the latest. Well, what we can see in the eastern Ukraine could definitely be described as a very dramatic status quo. Shelling and clashes there continuing with the death toll, including among civilian population, also continuing to climb as residential areas often get caught in a deadly crossfire when Ukrainian army and anti-government forces fight for cities and villages. Lugansk city authorities claim that at least five residents were killed in the last 24 hours and we receive images of a destroyed kindergarten after it was was hit by a shell. It is in the city center. Humanitarian situation in the city remains very tense. Electricity there has been cut off for several days already. There are also problems with running water and the officials of the self-proclaimed Republic of Lugansk warn that it could lead to a real humanitarian catastrophe. And of course, in this situation, people continue to flee what they call a war zone. We are now next to the Russian-Ukrainian border that every day tens and sometimes even hundreds of people try to cross. And the crossing itself very often becomes a very dangerous journey. Here's one local mayor who was among those organizing the evacuation at the time of the intense fighting. The whole city is destroyed, apartment buildings and private houses alike. It's been going on for about eight days. There was a pause in the shelling when we managed to take two buses full of refugees out of town. Then it started again. We've got no transport, fuel or water. We're trying to bring bread into town under fire. The situation on the ground remains dramatic and so far, unfortunately, there is no any indication that it could become any better anytime soon.